you feel like that person. It's almost like it's the jump off the garden. It's almost like she's got to stop being silent. She's got to get in front of that audience and she's yeah. got to go, this is who I am, folks. This is what I do. Hi, my name's Amanda Gillett and I'm the um, Manager for Community and Organisation. The African Leadership Program was a West Australian Government initiative um, through the Office of Multicultural Interests. The Metropolitan Migrant Resource Centre applied for the funding when it came out um, about two and a half years ago and we were successful in being awarded the funding. The purpose of the initiative is to support African communities in Western Australia to gain leadership skills and to um, better understand the systems that exist in our country, in, in Western Australia in particular, so that they can more actively participate in leadership roles right throughout um, our community. So not necessarily just in their own communities um, as being African communities, but also as part of the, the, the greater West Australian community because they are now Australians and we, want to, we wanted to be able to support their capacity to take a more active role. Okay, my name is Dawit, I'm uh, from Ethiopia. I came to this leadership group um, to hopefully make some difference to the community that, with the issues that we're having at the moment. The media workshop, media session was uh, really good. It, um, it taught me a few things on how to approach um, the media, and how to recognize articles and maybe how to write stories on, on relevant issues. My name is Violet, I'm the coordinator of the African Leadership Initiative and I work part-time at MMRC on this project. Um, for me, what made me become part of the project is because um, I've actually seen results. I'm passionate about working with the community. I've seen quite um, some good results, especially with one of our participants from last year, Esther Onik. She came into the program, wanted to perfect her um, public speaking skills and from there she's gone on to speak in front of 3,000 people at the TEDx talk. Um, for me, the highlight of this program actually is the retreat which we started last year and um, it's actually aimed to give other participants an opportunity, other members from the community an opportunity to meet together and to network and at the same time learn skills. For example, this year we have media training, we have leadership skills and we have um, personal assessment and emotional intelligence which we've just done. 
and again one of the main parts is like discussing community issues what affects the African community what can they do to be my name is Gabriel Adesoya uh, I decided to come for this leadership initiative forum because I believe I can pick some experiences and some skills one thing I realize is the problem in Africa is about leadership because we have the resources but most of the countries in Africa they are not making progress because our we don't have very good leaders so I believe coming for this type of forum rubbing minds with people and uh, people who are well experienced I will be able to gather so many skills in order to use in future when I go back to Africa because I'm very passionate about development in Africa and this is something that is lacking at this period in Africa. Hi, um, my name is Holly and I've decided to come here because I didn't know what to expect but when I came I've learned a lot and it was such a good feeling because I had I got the chance to meet different people that I've never met before and it was very inspiring hearing different stories and um, I learned about some things that goes on in the African community that I've never thought that happened and um, it made me realize a lot so this retreat was very um, for me I think it was a life-changing experience for me because it motivated me a lot as well it made me think about what I want to do and what I'm all about and actually so yeah so I would actually definitely come here again next year.